Hello, hello, San Monani Ninjani. My name is Nonsangani Sonkosi. And worry not, I am not, not, not replacing your favorite presenter, Nombu Melelo Lamini. I'm just filling in for her today. And in Namusha, we are at Nyanza Stables, a Malkins, which is a farm where you can come visit, or you can come and learn about horse riding, or you can just come and learn about animals, or you can book with your family at their guest cottages. So without wasting any time, I can get in a and see what uh, Nyanza Stables is all about. Let's go. Nyanza Farm has been owned and run by the family for over 50 years. The farm is situated in the scenic Markens Valley in the heart of the kingdom of Eswati. If you're an animal lover or enjoy open spaces, fresh air, bright stars and a beautiful countryside, then this will be a special heaven for you and your family. My name is Wendy Williams. I'm from Nyanza Farm. Um, I'm from Eswatini. I've grown up, grown up here all my life and this is our family farm that we started here back in the beginning of the 1960s. Uh, my parents both are from Swatini. My grandfather was Helen Messi, um, so we've been around a while. Um, these are cottages where we do accommodation for visitors to bring, we try and bring visitors to our country so we can show them what a wonderful country we have here. Uh, we bring visitors from overseas, from Swaziland, from Mozambique, from everywhere, we try and we have a diverse range of visitors who come to visit the farm and enjoy our countryside. My, my father started this farm. He was a farmer. He went to school here in Swaziland, in Eswatini. And when he left school, he went and studied. Um, he studied in Kenya. And then he came back to start a Nyanza farm. Um, and over the years, he developed the farm and we grew various crops. Now we have a dairy and we have the riding school and a small farmyard and things. And then we also do the accommodation as part of what we do now. We have the two cottages and we have a family lodge so we can offer varied accommodation for different people depending on what they need. Nyanza Stables offer private and intimate accommodation. They offer two self-catering family cottages and a family lodge right at the heart of the farm. The cottages have a very contented and peaceful atmosphere about them. Uh, our cottages are self-catering cottages, they're fully equipped, they have everything everybody might need to do their own catering, their own cooking. Uh, people often come and stay here for several days because it's like a home. They can do as they like, they can come and go as they please, children can run around, they don't have to worry about people next door or whatever. We have big gardens so there's a lot of space. They play a lot of games in the garden, there's a lot of trees, a lot of birds. Um, down here at the cottages it's quite quiet. Up at the top we have all the animals in the farmyard so a lot of families come here and the parents stay here and relax after working hard all the time and the children go up and they enjoy the farmyard, they help us with milking the cows, they feed the chickens, they help with the horses and so it's good. People can get away from it all and relax but still have all the entertainment at the farmyard if they're looking for something to do. we in the middle of where we're very lucky where we're situated because we have a lot of tourist attractions around us, nearby us. We're close to Sozi Candles, is only two and a half kilometers from us. Malandelas and House on Fire are five minutes from us. We have all the different game reserves are within easy reach, so we have people can choose if they want to go low felt or high felt or what type of birds. Or We have a lot of diverse things to offer here. So we love people to come here who like nature, who like animals, who like birds. We do a lot of animal welfare, we do a lot of rescue and all our, we have a lot of dogs and cats. We have 10 dogs, we have 55 cats at the moment. The number varies depending on what cases we have. We take in, all our animals have so stories, they were sad stories but now they're happy stories because they have a home and they're well again and they have somebody to love them. Um, each animal has its own story and it's nice because I, a lot of our guests are interested in each animal and how they got to be here and what their story. We have photos from when they came and some of them were abused, some of them were ill-treated. Um, so a lot of our people enjoy just coming to be around the animals. We, it's a great place for animal lovers because there are just so many animals to talk to and be around. It's also a good place for people that don't grow up with animals because they can come, some people are nervous of dogs. Our dogs love visitors, they love to have children. They're good for children to get used to being around dogs and we often see we have children arrive here and they're frightened of the dogs but by the time they finish staying here they've learned and they love the dogs and they help they like to be around them and 
they have their favorite dogs and so it's a, it's a good opportunity for kids to learn to love animals there's a lot to love about the animals and it's it's a good way for kids to grow up being around animals at Nyanza Stables, you experience a full farm stay accommodation on a working farm. The farm stay is interactive, family focused, offering children opportunities to feed animals, collect eggs and learn how a farm functions. Simple here, we're a farm. We're a working farm and I think it's good for people to come and to see just a plain ordinary working farm in Swaziland. We have a small dairy so they can see we make the traditional Swazi Amasi here. And it's good for people to come and see country life here and farm life here. Um, there's so much, so many different things about Swaziland and there's so many wonderful places to visit. We try and offer something that's completely different to everybody else. So we have the farmyard, we have the animal welfare, we have the big gardens and lots of indigenous trees, we have a lot of bird life. So we try and be a little bit different to everybody else. It's our cottages, a simple rustic farm cottages. Um, we, yeah, it's good for people that enjoy country life and nature. I definitely want to experience this kind of farm stay, don't you? Nyanza is the perfect haven for animal lovers and who loves animals? Kids! Children are especially welcome to come and experience the joy of being around the farm animals through day school visits. <laughs> Siba bitanga kuti school visit. Kungaba nama as batata la la se baba kulubo high school. But is it tata bamba na la ba grade zero preschool until go ya go grade seven. Si abakela gele langa la bola bamba na ngoba bati na ba poga bati shela si buta na si akulubisa na na ba kuti ba ngatanza kuti ngale pilla ngoba siga si ba ne bamba na la ba ne ngemnya gen umaga sisi na la bamba na la sisi kulubisa na na loti shela kuti u chuzi le pilla ngas sisi abuksa na gele ngoba kuti na tili aslunge langa la na be figa ge bamba na exene keten ba e figa ge ni abala nzame ne. Ni aba kulume sige ni aba bingele la sige bingele la na sige chable la na nami ya chable vaga shelo angebo na baba chable lektos vaga shelo nyans. Mwa gua logo sige ni aba chela geguti. Stout kala skibele mahash ngoba la kas na tole tilo ane. Sne mahash sne tingu kus sne tingo mo tilo ane je domestic animal. Mwa gua logo sige ni aba chela sige kibela. Na sige sige kibela sige sige bahambi sige sige tori sige ifam si buga lama domestic animals si na toge tuluanya na ta seka ya boloko acha timku ku imbu timbu tese na tu sne mvui nye ngobaba mfana bed fula seba tola gala glama lang abasa tadi le tin fuko cha tige tine se ba bege la loglo ngane le snago sende le loguti ba guati ba gubone ba ngabona strombe ba chabula gubana na boko kuba chabula gakul si hambege na abo mwa wego si ge sestre tile lo hamba na abo kuba kumbesa le tilo na tetu se ba ya hamba ge ba ushala pas si ba lungse linza ola ba ta ushala kona ba vuleti kuamata abo ba ngoba asba pege le tim si ba chela nje na ba poga gusi asin pege le ni tane gwe nugul ba chabula ge gakul na abo tishe la ba hamba ba chabli le ne ba nfa na ba hamba ba chabli Nyanza has a lot of children visiting and they always take pleasure in watching them enjoy the farmyard and interact with the animals. The emphasis for the visit is to show and educate those not fortunate enough to grow up around animals the correct way to handle and take care of them and the friendship that the animals have to share with them. I was born in the primary, in the preschool, in grade zero. I was born in the preschool, but I was born in the preschool, and I was born in the preschool, and I was born in the preschool. Singapore kutoa tangu ngo kuti abasle tele banfa na bas shayele ngo ba si afara na lo gugu gugu advertise lo gugu kuti tena sbanu la benda ni la na ba abete abete tangu ngo kuli vile ba zvaga shayele ba ba pusha na ngo kuli vile na ba pusha na ngo kuli kanzo kuti ngo langa sna forward to call but isi ati amanga o onge manje tu kuti siba chabli singa lo kufana na. The assumption that animals are without rights and the illusion that our treatment of them has no moral significance is a positively outrageous example of crudity. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. I 
sinela ikaya sibantu le sithi tsandza ko kakhulu ufika ungati loko ukuthina kuthiwa sithanze silwane kusho ka ungasithanza kanjani silwane oba tsena sathi ukuthi inja nje inja yasekhaya suka 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 likati likati lasekhaya khosha 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 but isa mine nje ngafike ngatola abasuami basuami uthi tsandza kakhulu tilwane so ngafike ngacale ngambuka loma ke ukuthi ha wenta kanjani loma ke lokuba nelutsandvo lolungake silwaneni Ngase ngivana mse yangena le mfo se yangena iyangena iyangena se izingena nami sengiphila nale tilwane lokusho ukuthi umuntu nje naketa la khaya sivela simchazele ngimchazele asisenga kangene ndengena nokuhamba nakakhulu ukuthi angala mjele ukuthi thena la khaya sithanza tilwane nawe singathanza ukuthi uthithanze tilwane enje nakushiwe ukuthi futhi ke ekati nakushiwe ukuthi hayi liyakhwehlela linjanjana liyahona linjanjana siyathanza nje vele kakhulu ukuphila nate tilwane lo futhi lokho nyaka sifika nalo bamfana sibafundzise kubatshela ukuthi silwane kumele siphatheke kanjani silwane sifanana nemuntu akusinje ukuthi ngoba silwane akumele ukuthi nesiphathe kanhle siyanakekelwa sihlalela kuhlobe khona njengawe ngoba nawuhlala la kuhlobe khona ngiyabatshela vele labantwana ngibatshela ukuthi uyasinakekela sihlalela kuhlobe khona nedindishita so sidigezwe nala esitawulala khona silalela kuhlobe khona nala sihlethe ikhona kulama cage kuhlobe futhi ke lokho nyale siye sibatshele kona la bamfana kakhulu siyabatshana ke ukuthi mangabe kune nje khaya tinja akufuneka tibe tinengi uze ungakhona kudondla nemakati akufuneka abe manengi uze ungakhona kuwondla kunendlela yekwekuthi uyivale uyithathe uyimikise kudokotela bafike bakuphakulele le nja yakho noma lelo likati lakho noma labo bolokwatsha mina nje ngina bolokwatsha laba nengi kakhulu le bantwana babathanza kakhulu labo lokwatsha ngiyabatsha ukuthi kuze ube nabo lokwatsha laba nele kufanele labo lokwatsha uba sterilize anganobe aphele ngilokudala 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 lo lokwatsha ube nendifolo ta ukhona ku manage Nyanza also offers a horse riding school where they train children and adults professional horse riding The school is run by Wendy Williams and Ann Davis and they are assisted by a team of highly competent instructors. We started we've had horses here for since 1968 at Nyanza. In 1983 we started operating as a riding stable as a riding school and we've gradually grown it up at the moment we have about 36 horses here. We have a lot of students. Our students are mainly local students from around us at Swatini Manzini and Baban all over Swatini. Some of our visitors that come to stay in the cottages also come they'll come for like a weekend or for a week's lessons and then they come to train. We have some very good instructors. We have Anne Davis with us who she's from overseas. She trained at high levels overseas in Europe. And then we have Nandi Williams who is a is from Eswatini herself and she's been riding all her life so she helps us instructing in the stables. Our pupils start what we normally do is when they're about 4 or 5 years old they start with pony rides where we lead them around on a horse and they can get the feel if they like it or not. And then they start having lessons. They begin by learning how to control a horse because it's very important to know what you're doing on the horse. And then they progress some go into like we start doing dressage we start doing jumping competitions there's wonderful places to ride out through the countryside some people buy their own horses other people ride our horses um we have a system where you can lease our horses so it's as if you have your own horse but it's still ours so we take care of all the worries and we provide the horse and the equipment and it's a good system for people to see if they like owning a horse Some of the instructors are residents here and others come to teach for specific classes. Lessons for both children and adults are held throughout the week and on weekends by special arrangement. They cater for everyone from beginners to advanced competitors. Um horses are actually a very very good way being around horses is a very good way for children to grow up. It's a life lesson. And children these days they spend a lot of time on their phones or their computers or indoors. With a horse you actually learn a lot. You learn how to conquer your fears. You learn how to take pride in your achievements. You learn how to grow as a person, not just as a sportsman but as a person. Our children also they have to learn how to take care of their horses. They're not allowed to have somebody else do it for them. They have to brush their horses, they have to saddle them up. They have to learn all about taking care of the horse as a living creature. So they learn to take responsibility. They learn to love something, they learn to care about it. They go to competitions and they learn to challenge themselves and that if they work harder 
they can improve, they can do well. We're lucky there are a lot of programs to help us Swatini riders. So even like now Swatini is aiming for the Youth Olympics to send riders to the Youth Olympics. So you can learn to ride just for fun or you can learn to ride to compete. You can go out into the world. We've sent children out. We have children that are competing successfully all over the world now. And it's, it's a great opportunity. Here in Swaziland, it's a, in La Sotina, it's a great opportunity for our kids because it's a lot cheaper than the rest of the world. And it's a wonderful place. We have a wonderful office to work in. They have a wonderful place to ride in. They're very lucky. It's, our climate is perfect for riding, not like in Europe where there's a lot of snow. And so it's a good place. We're lucky we have good children here. They come from all the schools in Eswatini. Um, we have, yeah, re we represent basically all the schools. Mm -hmm. There is a schools league in the equestrian competitions where each school can compete against each other even, which is nice because then they can give their school recognition also. Um, our children ride in the afternoons during the week. We have lessons in the afternoon for children. Some of our ladies come and ride in the mornings because it's open for adults or children to ride. It's open for everybody. Um, Saturdays we do lessons by arrangements because we often have functions with competitions or we have, we have training events here. We sometimes have graded events here and we even have the FEI competitions here which is your international equestrian body. We hold competitions and training events for them here at Nyanza. Um, or we travel the other venues, also very lovely venues in Swaziland that we travel to. So our children get a lot of exposure and you know it's right here on their doorstep. It's easy to come here after school. There's a few parents have lift clubs that they get the children here and yeah, they learn all about it. The school holidays, we encourage them, they come and spend the whole day. It's a much healthier lifestyle for children to be here out on the farm, outdoors, around the animals. Much healthier for kids these days that hang around the shopping mall and getting into mischief. <laughs> Nyanza has a program in place for developing and training the local Swazi staff members in horsemanship and equitation skills. Those showing the interest and dedication necessary for the sport are encouraged to learn more and take part in further training. Before <laughs> The <laughs> Best 
Yalsula get pins, well, Buga got it in for Momalo and El Connect Casal Tissues. Well, Bona six are high. Sing Lucy Lid and Jim Pay. After it, I get up a bull Sulaga. Who the long old things they call? Young kins are. It's most a tag a bull Sula. Connor is a bit of a hoof peak. A hoof peak is sitting that near winter. Of this cocked el tag. Near well, any hoof peak here. Utsege mau koka elza galagulo, au luna lole niya unjo ulbamba gase utalul kombi seloxi utagle niya. Dati pagam se dalo, ubu ubega sanda sakola, jengo ulbo na elza ga ulbo na unjo. Mangali ege la elza ga emala ngala, ngatena le niya ulange kati selboli, ngaloxa alpu mil kongegi le naksasa niya tela tiwa elza. Si esbese ge se sial koka elza ga ngale hufpik. The Sasa spray sil to two tela, send the lexile, has she ling no ball. Connect the new shadows, solo shawang moyal gas. Hm, I leave an engine. Who young I could see Sasifunzi Saganga Gana and Siafunzi as man just as you went to Domsebe. Hm, as a man's a grease keys. Hm, Sakchet and how we born it and was a cab by end. I go to Gumbang him than Funabula. Hm, I'll hash it in Jang and Moon to that born and Jamanga Victory. Now we have a wet and a good sab and a little towards Halumfu. Young sab, a short to take tongue shy and umfnagenda, and Funanjul and Dumgano, Akonji, Nifanji, a woe, Bambisan, Aunt of Bambisan in bed. Not only do they learn to ride, but they are encouraged to learn all aspects of horse welfare and management. Some of the staff arrive never having touched a horse in their life before, and with training go on to become both accomplished riders and good horsemen. Can they do that? Betum de Nacoban Fana Rabangane, Bachabule, Sigbo Pede, Hashi, Bakibe, no be bang four, no be bang three, no be bangapi, Vesem Vagolo Ka, Uba safe, Mamasiak Bambe, a little hash, Masid Bopedi. Some be now, some be now, a little scabber, a store hamperson, Ubu and Outive Ucha bleed. Hm. Now, when Jedama Ashinja Segaya takes it, come over Saint Angel, a good in for Linga Linda Luna, Jemmy Nelinga, and this is how ending for the guard. Hm. I was a young same. The artist is young in the land, this I own a young land is in for Lenga Sea. Young in the land, this I own a in for Lengi. I was a guy and same by Jim Pell. Ganga and Jalog and at seventy time, the Swabuganat. Now to tear artists, it car, in for Lenga, I ain't you, as she in Momang was born as Safi got a so seven, whereas Jada was a car. Slow and as part of Angel. Why do I loom from my guard to a tea and I see slow and a shower and a leech? Slow and a shower and jing. We am from Zisa and I. Jessica, Sloan is Patoganges, Patoganges, Luan, Mofunas Luan, as a Gusati, when they ganj, one day Ustazi in a room. Mamalo artist is transit in a looks in Aubena. Hm, Ubena, Lorati Laco, what now is Luan is Patoanjan, as Luan as it shall is Tagasi, as Luan as he corner Google book for me and Mamma and I will call next seventy son and as a man to young man. You must name man like now, I guess Luan. Funati Vero and Titrobe. Hm, six long pinching Ale and Ale ten don't. Mm. Albert Einstein once said that we need to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole if nature's and its beauty. And this is the way Wendy runs Nyanza stables with love for the animals and the respect for nature and the environment. Okay, here at Nyanza we, we also have a shelter. Um, we take in dogs and cats that um, have come from bad past. Maybe they've been abused, maybe they're very sick. This is Mia. Mia is, she's blind. Um, she's very courageous. She was found at the age of six months wandering blind in Isawini. Um, so then she came here. She, you can see she's very independent. She doesn't like, she won't, it, she says she doesn't have a disability and she's actually quite fine and she'd like to be out walking around. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and then we have some of our others. This is Sibu. Sibu's owner passed away and he had nowhere to go so he came here. This is BP. BP is very old and she's having her afternoon snooze at the moment. Um, and then over here we have 
These are the cages for our special needs cats. So this is where Mia, the blind cat, stays. Here we have Tigaru has three legs, Azura is blind. There's some that are very frightened that were people frightened them too much that they actually don't want to go back out into the world. So they stay here where they feel safe and comfortable and they can go in and out the house and have their own little garden. Swift, Swift was abandoned. Um, his, somebody bought a house. When they moved into the house, the people that had left just left the dog in the house. And he got handed into a shelter where he was going to be put down because people People in our society don't adopt enough animals. They breed animals, they let the animals breed, and you end up with animals like him. He was, uh, yeah, if, he, if we didn't adopt him, he was going to be put down. He loves children, this dog. He loves children wholesale. And every child that comes to the farm, he takes their child and he makes them feel like they're the one and only. And um, yeah, we need people, more people to adopt more animals. <laughs> Can I introduce you to Tigaru here? Yes, come, Tigi. Tig Tigs. Come on, baby. Come, say hello. Come, say hello. Come, Tigi. Tig Tigs. Tigaru. Come. Come, 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 say hello. Yes. Say hello. Good girl. Tigaru was found in a um, poor housing area. She was fending for herself with three legs and um, somebody caught her and brought her here to us. This over there, that is Kina. Kina, the black cat, he had a broken, when he arrived, he was very badly hurt, his spine was injured, and we had to teach him how to walk again. This is Kenzie, Kenzie's new here, and she's also got a damaged spine. She's learning how to walk again, and we do physiotherapy with her, and we also do hydrotherapy. Um, we put her in water, and she's learning to use her legs again. But she's still not ready to go loose. We let her out loose for short periods of time because she's still recovering from all her injuries. Um, this is Timbavati, and Timbavati was very, very wild and very frightened. He must have had some terrible bad experiences from people, and it's taken him a long time to learn to trust people again. After spending a day at Nyanza Stables, you get to understand that love of animals is a universal impulse, a common ground on which all of us may meet by loving and understanding animals. Perhaps we humans shall come to understand each other. They try and combine a learning experience with fun. All the animals are friendly. You may have the cows stop at the coffee table on their way to the paddock, watch winter the Australian cattle dog run up the turkeys. It is a true Swazi farm stay. If you're into animals or you love animals and you love the beauty of nature and you love quietness and you want a place where you feel like it's at home away from home, then Nyanza Stables is a place for you to come and check out because Nyanza Stables, their heart is with their animals and it's all a beautiful family. So you definitely want to come and experience such beauty. Spending my day at Nyanza Stables today, I learned a lot about animals. I got to learn about horses and for the first time in my life, I actually be Came, I came up close with a rabbit, which is something that I've never done before. Coming here, I was quite terrified of the cats, but look at me now. <laughs> so that's one of the things that you learn when you're at Nyanza Stables, that you get to love the animals. They teach you how the animals should be treated. So definitely do come through and take some time. And Nyanza.